The Game of the Year awards ceremony was live streamed this week on the 9th of December. Here's a list of trailers and announcements. Dead Cells with a new DLC, Return to Castlevania. A mobile version of Vampire Survivors. Returnal coming to PC. A roguelike, Hellboy, Web of Weird. A horror game, Post Trauma. Atomic Heart release date, February 21st, 2023. A third person shooter, Scars Above. A top down co op shooter, Relic Hunter's Legend. Among Us gets a new hide and seek mode. An adventure game, After Us. A platformer, Replaced. Street Fighter 6. Hades 2. A new game from Bioshock Devs, Judas. Destiny 2 Lightfall DLC. Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. A multiplayer party game, Party Animals. The Last of Us Part 1 coming to PC. Star Wars Jedi Survivor. From the creators of Celeste, Earthblade. An MMO based on the Dune series, Dune Awakening. An action game, Forspoken. Death Stranding 2. A single player sorcery game, Immortals of Avium. Tekken 8. An adventure game, Nightingale. Baldur's Gate 3. Multiplayer action RPG, Wayfinder. Diablo 4 release date. A Bandai Namco and Amazon Games MMORPG, Blue Protocol. Remnant from the Ashes sequel, Remnant 2. An online co op action game, Transformers Reactivate. Company of Heroes 3 comes to PC and console. An action RPG from the creators of Life is Strange, Banishers, Ghosts of New Eden. Warhammer 40k, Space Marine 2. A raiding PvP game, Meet Your Maker. A Crash Bandicoot team based competitive brawler, Crash Team Rumble. The Lords of the Fallen, Crime Boss, Rock A City. Cyberpunk 2077, new expansion, Phantom Liberty. A new From Software game, Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. Final Fantasy 16 for the PS5. The two main winners of 2022 are Elden Ring and God of War Ragnarok. Elden Ring won Game of the Year plus some others. God of War Ragnarok won several awards. And here's a quick slideshow of the other category winners.